On this first Saturday, which is the visitation this year, wonderfully so, let's once again turn to Lourdes and the apparitions thereof. The second of the 15 days, of course, according to our reckoning, matches up with the visitation. 15 days for 15 decades of the Holy Rosary, 15 mysteries. So this was the fourth of the apparitions, the second of the 15 days, Friday, February 19, 1858. Accompanied to the grotto by her mother and godmother and namesake, Aunt Bernard, Bernadette, holding a lighted candle for the first time, is again transformed as she falls into a rapture on the third Hail Mary of the Rosary. All notice the beauty that shone upon the little virgin's face. Her countenance changed. Her smile became mysteriously lovely. People wept at the sight. Like St. Elizabeth before her, she is filled with the Holy Ghost at the greeting of the Mother of God. In this visitation to the grotto, the first of which her own mother and godmother are present, St. Bernadette's whole being proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Heaven is reflected on her face, in her body, in her being. And this was the second of the 15 days, as we mentioned. And Bernadette had obeyed, securing permission from her parents to be there. She did not say yes except, if my parents allow me, would you do me the kindness, Our Lady asked her, to come here for a fortnight? Yes, if my parents let me. She secured permission from her parents. She obeyed the Lady. Our Lady sought permission to visit Elizabeth from St. Joseph. It was hinted from the angel that your cousin Elizabeth is with child. Hinting, you should go to her. She immediately sought permission of St. Joseph. Obedience brings about a more secure connection to God. We see that in this apparition. We hear and we obey. And he rewards us with more light and with grace upon grace to continue our journey into eternity. Obedience must be tested as it was in the garden so long ago. Thus, something unusual happened at this visitation to the grotto. At one point, the lady in white seemed to change, and as suddenly, as suddenly, loud yells belched from the nearby river Gob, broke the sacred silence of the cave of Masabiel. They challenged, they crossed, collided with one another, like the clamor of a brawling crowd, making for a cacophony. One voice more furious than the rest dominated them all and roared out, Get out of here! Get out of here! Yet a mere glance from the Immaculate Conception, the woman, the Virgin Queen, positioned in the niche above, renders the demons silent. The demons were defeated in this head-on clash. They were forced to retreat. But they were not done with their evil deeds. The stage was set. It was the cave versus the river, the lady versus the world, the flesh, and the devil, with Bernadette in between. She continued to obey the contract she made with the heavenly lady. She obeyed it, come what may, with spectacular results. The life-giving healing waters of Lourdes would soon be flowing for the good of poor fallen mankind of our time. Obedience produces fruits 
fruits that last. One might argue that Bernadette could obey the devil. Those voices, get out of here. Who is she to obey? I just did what it said. I was obedient. We have to make sure we're obeying the right voice. The devil has his commands too, doesn't he? This scene at Lourdes is an echo of how the devil lost his grip upon the forerunner of the Lord, St. John the Baptist, when he was cleansed of original sin in the womb of of his mother, Elizabeth, at the visitation of Our Lady, today's feast. The devil is powerless against our sovereign queen. That's how we know who to obey. As the 12th chapter of the Apocalypse says of him, he tries to use water to drown out the virgin queen, and the child born of her, but fails. Again, he has his commands too. Who are we going to obey? Which way are we listening? Are we listening up or are we listening down? With Jesus in her womb, the Virgin Mother of God becomes a mother to men of this world with a visitation. St. John the Baptist, a forerunner, is born through her into the life of grace. The devil is furious. In this mystery and visit to the grotto, we find a striking portrayal of baptism with its exorcisms, which we have in the old rite baptism. Let us renew and obey our baptismal vows. That's another way we know which voice to obey. Does this contradict or go along with my baptismal vows? Let's renew and obey our baptismal vows frequently. Nay, every time we use holy water. And I challenge you with one last thought. Do you know the day of your baptism? If you don't, you should. 